Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. This video shows you how to change the default writing font in Thunderbird. Now what I mean by that is when you write a new email or you reply to a new email, it's the font here that you're typing with. So uh, some people don't like the default font, which is variable width. So this guide shows you how you can change that. So all you need to do is click on these three lines just up here, the hamburger menu. OK, go down to preferences there. Click on preferences, then go down to composition. Click on that. And then what you need to do is under HTML style, just change variable width to whatever you like. So I know that uh, as standard, generally a lot of Windows fonts are Calibri. So you could change that to Calibri and you can obviously change the size as well. Tiny, small, medium, large, extra large and huge. Well, I'm going to leave it on medium. You can also, if you want, uncheck the use readers default colors and change the text color to whatever you like and also the background color there. But please bear in mind that some email systems will strip out any formatting, meaning that the, the, the recipient might not see that. Or if your system is greatly different from theirs, then it may just look odd. So uh, I would suggest leaving that as use reader's default colors. So now I've set it to Calibri, all I do is just go back to the inbox there just by clicking on the cross just up the top there. Sorry, I was a bit quick on that. So you just click on the cross just up there. Okay, and then all we do is we just write a new email. And as you'll see now, the font is now Calibri. So there you go, that guide showed you how to change the default writing font in Thunderbird. I hope you liked this video and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released, hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at CWTech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.